boys and girls, it's Kamochi time. Kamochis are our friends. Kamochis are our friends. They are here to play with us. Kamochis are our friends. They have feelings too. They have feelings too. Happy, sad, and angry, just like me and you. Well done. Well, my friends, today we're continuing to talk about cloud. And we talked about how when cloud is happy, he's spreading sunshine. But when he's mad, ooh boy, look at how his face turns gray and he just can really rain on your parade. And that just means that he just can, can really make things not feel so good when he's in a mood like this. So today, we are going to talk about things that people do and say when they're mad and how you can respond to that with kindness. So we talked about how people just react. We get mad and we don't think about what we're saying and we say something really, really mean. And so I like to say that when they, when people say things that they don't mean that are really hurtful when they're mad. It's called big mean things that aren't true. <laughs> they just say it because they're really, really mad. They don't think about it and it's really hurtful. And the problem with that is that remember, it's okay to be me, uh, mad, but it's not okay to be mean. And when we react like that, think about it. You can't take back those words when you say something mean like that. That's why it's so important to really think about what you're saying before you say it. But that in itself is really, really tricky and that's why we're practicing. So I'm gonna talk about some things that I hear in the classroom and then I'm gonna ask you if you've ever heard it and how that makes you feel. Are you ready? Okay. You're not my friend anymore. Yikes, that would hurt my feelings. How about, I hate you? Wow, that's a really powerful word and I really don't like it when anybody uses that. But siblings say it to each other, people say it sometimes because they just get so angry, so mad that they just try to think of the most hurtful thing that they can say to someone. And then after you say it, you realize, wow, I really shouldn't have said that. I didn't mean that, I was just mad. And the other thing that I hear a lot is, you're not invited to my birthday party. Yeah, so think about it. Have you ever heard one of those things, either from a friend or from a brother or a sister? Raise your hand if you've heard one of those things. Yeah, I bet you, you all have. Because when we're mad, it's just such a hard emotion to control. So, we're going to, let's agree as kindergartners to avoid saying mean things if we can, okay? So let's try to keep practicing on controlling our anger or our mad. And instead of reacting, either walking away, taking a calm down breath, not saying something that we cannot take back. Because once you say something, even if you didn't mean it, it's still really, really hurtful. So let's agree as kindergartners not to say mean things. And how about this? Let's learn that if someone does say something mean to us, we can react with kindness. And I know that's hard. It's harder than saying something mean. So that's why we're gonna to practice today. So I'm gonna pretend that Oops, I'm gonna pretend, here, I'm gonna pretend, <laughs> I just dropped what I was gonna use. I'm gonna pretend that Cloud took my pencil away from me, or my, my art pen away from me when, just took my, my art pen, and it's my art pen, and I'm gonna react, and then I'm gonna show you what we can do differently. Are you ready? Cloud, are you ready? Okay. So 
Cloud is white and happy now. Okay, here we go. Hey, you stole my art pen. You're not my friend anymore, you thief. Oops. <laughs> so what Cloud, oh, immediately, even when I said those words, was I being kind? Did I react with kindness when, when Cloud took something away from me? No, and I know that's frustrating when people take things that don't belong to you. But what I could say if somebody reacts that way, and Cloud will say it to me, he could say, are you mad? Did I do something? And then I could apologize and say, I'm sorry, Cloud. I'm just not having a good day. I'm feeling really mad and I didn't mean to yell at you. So just by asking the person if they're mad or if they did something wrong to deserve me yelling at them, then It made, it made me aware that I reacted really with, without kindness and I should have reacted with kindness. So when we react with tenderness by saying, oh, I'm so sorry, um, I'm just not feeling good, I'm upset, um, I'm sorry for yelling, it kind of brings down the situation and it makes the hurtfulness better right away. Because then when I told Cloud that I was having a bad day, then Cloud knew that it wasn't him. It was really me that's having the bad day and I just reacted because he took something away from me. So I could say to him a, a better way, let's try that again. So Cloud's gonna take my Hey Cloud, that's my art pen. Can I please have it back? Was that a better way? Yeah, so he still took something of mine, but it was a better way for me to react by asking for it back nicely. And I feel like when you act, it doesn't always work, but when you ask for things back nicely, the person is really willing to give it back to you. Maybe they didn't know, maybe they were being silly, but if you react in a kind way, they're gonna most likely react to you in a kind way. Not always, but the more we practice it, the better we'll get, and it just makes a person aware, um, the person who is mad and how they talk to other people, and that's really important. So apologizing and just saying, um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really feeling mad, I'm upset. Um, just owning it, so owning up to it and then apologizing right away. Because you know, you know when you say something that doesn't sound good. The first time I even said it, when I yelled at Cloud, it did not feel good. Even though I wanted my pen back, it didn't feel good. So the whole point, boys and girls, is take the time to react with kindness when someone is mad or when um it, yeah when someone is mad it could even be a parent maybe they're really upset and you you can just say i'm sorry um or you can just say are you mad did i do something wrong and it just it's a nice way to bring down the hurtful situation right away and if the person that said that to you or yelled at you or didn't talk very nice to you the person will realize what they said or maybe how they said it. We talked about how you say something makes such a big difference. So boys and girls, always try to react with kindness. I know that's hard, but if we practice, 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 we will get much better at it and it'll just become easier for us. So keep practicing out there, dealing with your mad or even someone else's mad now we know how to deal with our mad, but we can also, we just learned some tools to deal with when someone else is mad and projects that onto us and talks mean to us or yells at us. All right, friends. Well, Cloud, 
is ready to go have a little bit of fun. And I will see you tomorrow, boys and girls. Have a great day. Bye.